Virgo. What is the word, Joe? It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. One time for the one time for the remix. Yes, indeed. To let you guys know what is going on mid-month August. August the 15th through the 31st. To let you guys know what type of energies are surrounding you. Shout out to everyone who has clicked this video. Thank you guys so much for the love, light, and support. If there's anyone who would like to support the page or would like to book a reading with me all my information is in the about tab all right my booking page is going through some little technical stuff right now so if you want to book with me only thing you need to do is just shoot me a message on um google hangouts um you can it's an easy app to download you can use my email which is scorpionreds at gmail.com or you can go on the about tab and use my instagram link shoot me a message on Instagram um, we can discuss which type of reading um, the pricing I'll send you the link for the pricing and we can that's normally where we do the readings at, at Instagram or on Google Hangouts and since we're already communicating there as soon as I get the payment receipt we can have the reading right there at the same place and same time as long as you're available so um, that's how we're going to do the booking for right now so yes just contact me directly if you want to see um what type of services i provide my booking page is still up you could go on there and check the services and see what type of readings and the pricing and everything before you contact me so you can know automatically what it is that you're trying to book so if you just want to go on my booking page to see the services that i provide and when you contact me say hey i want this reading and then you know we'll take it from there um if there's anyone um, that would like to support the page, of course, the number one way to support the page is hitting that like button. So if this video resonates at any time, the first way to support, of course, is just hitting the like button. And if the spirit moves you, if you would like to do a little bit more, you can feel free to support by um, clicking that cash app uh, link. I have my cash app, my PayPal, as well as... Uh, my Amazon wish list. You guys uh, do a lot of support through the wish list. So if there's something on there in particular that you like and you would like to see a certain deck um, being used on the page, um, a lot of times y'all have certain decks in mind that I've never even heard of. And you guys will email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com and y'all say, hey, Reds, do you like this deck? I'll say, yeah, no. And y'all say, add it to the wish list. And you know, a lot of decks gets on this table by that way. So, um, Thank you again for all of the love, light, and support. Any form of uh, communication and support is greatly appreciated. Um, again, thank you, my Virgos, for always looking out for me and always being one of my biggest supporters. And let's um, thank Father God, number one, and let's get into this energy and find out what's going on mid-August, all right? So, <clears throat> Father God, thank you so much. Thank you so much for... All of the blessings and all of the lessons. Thank you so much for communicating to us where our path is leading us so we can continue to walk, walk forth towards that path and go through this spiritual voyage right now. I feel like um, Virgo is going through a stage where we are learning ourselves all over again. We're finding out new blessed information about ourselves and how we're growing and um I feel like our viewpoint on a lot of things is changing as we're growing and as we're maturing and as we're progressing and as things are shifting in our life, we are shifting our gears and how we're moving and the speed at which we're moving, you know. So, Father God, thank you so much for uplifting us. Thank you so much for gifting us with the wisdom of discernment and, you know, just having a good overall heart because that's one thing that Virgo does is have a good heart and, you know, we're perfectionists. <laughs> Virgos are perfectionists. So, you know, they're not going to put their foot out there in the street until they know that they're going to, you know, be good and reach victory. So, thank you so much for that discernment. Uh, Father God, continue to give us blessings and um, continue to put your hands on us and help us move gracefully through these changes and to continue to reach our goals because, um, you know, 2019 is winding down. So um, please give us guidance uh, for the rest of this month through the 15th through the 31st of August. Please give us guidance and thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Thank you. All right. So... This is one of the decks that I just received from you guys from the Amazon wish list. So thank you guys again for all of the love and support. 
Um, this is the Music Oracle deck. Yes. So let's see what type of music I like to swing into. What type of Music Oracle information Spirit has for us today. Okay, who's that? Madonna? Okay, girl. guidance for my Virgo. Who is this? Debbie Harry. Okay. Blondie. Fools mistake their flesh for plastic. Oh. Fools mistake their, their flesh for plastic. It is not enough to be beautiful. You need to know how to be beautiful. Stay open to new things and you will never stagnate. I get it. I think she's talking about plastic surgery. I feel like your skin is not plastic. Your soul is not plastic. Like you're not a shapeshifter. You know what I'm saying? Um, your flesh is your soul. Is who you are. You have to know that you're beautiful enough and that you don't have to change yourself. For nobody to make yourself appear more beautiful or appear more appeasing to someone else. It says you need to know how to be beautiful. Once you are beautiful within, you'll move to a different tune. Stay open to new things and you will never be stagnant. Nothing will never get in your way. You see that, that, that cheetah... That boldness, that, you know what I'm saying, that animalistic energy, being loud, being who you are, like, I feel like this is someone that might have some type of um, spots on their face or something like that. They feel like maybe acne or um, maybe a birthmark on their face or something like that. It's something something to where it's oh i'm sorry y'all because it's gonna keep doing that oh jesus okay so and this is bob dylan it says nostalgia is for two-time losers don't mistake that mansion on the hill for paradise darkness may be falling but we're not there yet huh Again, it says nostalgia is for two-time losers. Don't mistake that mansion on a hill for paradise. Darkness may be falling, but we're not here yet. So this is what I'm getting with both of these guys, okay? I'm feeling like for some reason, you guys feel like you have to change yourself. And that's why it's saying fools mistake their flesh for plastic. Nostalgia is for two-time losers. Don't make the mistake trying to change yourself to fit the mold of someone or somewhere else. They said don't mistake that mansion on a hill for paradise. Because you might change yourself to achieve and try to reach that mansion on a hill status. Because that's what you want to be thinking that that shit is paradise. But I feel like there's more beauty in knowing who you are and just seeing the beauty in, in you are and just staying open to the things coming to you in a natural way you know because darkness may fall but you're not there yet I feel like maybe this is someone who's carrying herself like an old woman like older or something it's like I just thought it's something about someone's appearance and the way they're carrying themselves. It's like, you ain't old and wrinkly yet. Like, I don't know. It's like something about someone needing to know their inner beauty and that you don't need to put makeup on. You don't need no plastic surgery. You don't need that. And I feel like you need to look at yourself and see that you made the mistake before trying to change yourself, trying to appease someone else to get to where you're going do you understand what i'm saying and it didn't work so don't fall back into that again trying to mistake another 
situation it seems like a mountain a mountain a mansion on a hill for paradise when it really wasn't it really wasn't what you mistaken as that mansion on a hill and that for a paradise might be the poison might be what's poisoning your mind it's not enough to be beautiful you need to know how to be beautiful do you understand what i'm saying so this is the ace of pentacles the ace of pentacles so this is you being able to plant a brand new seed and grow something that is beautiful something that is permanent something that is luxurious luscious you know thick beautiful rich all right and if you are luscious thick beautiful rich honey that means you're going to bear some juicy fruits juicy fruit da -da -da -da. Ah, come on, come on, juicy. Okay, girl, listen. See the little fat, little juicy, little beetle bug, honey. Look, you got little juicy. Girl, I just, I really do feel like you need to plant that seed. Only thing God asks you for is the faith of a mustard seed. And I really do believe that you need to plant that seed within yourself and let it blossom, let it grow, let it fly. Just accepting who you are. I feel like once you plant that seed in you, your days are going to be prosperous every day going forward. And you just going to, you don't need to do anything to yourself. Just continue to work on yourself. If you want to tone, if you want to, you know what I'm saying? Day by day, just continue to work on yourself and work on your inner beauty. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to be beautiful. It's not enough to be beautiful. You need to know how to be beautiful. It's about the inner work. It's about the inner work. I feel like you need to release the burden and just put put down trying to hold on and trying to live up to someone else's standard of what they think beauty is or what they think value is. What they value might not necessarily be what the Lord considers valuable for you. What the Lord made you a value of. You may be rich in something else. You understand what I'm saying? That may be more value. And you got to look. You got to pay attention to the eye of the beholder. Because sometimes. Why would you put so much stock into. What someone. Who doesn't even know what true beauty and value is. Anyway. So why are you. Their palate isn't even that refined. To be able to. Discern water from wine. Do you understand what I'm saying? So pay attention before you go back to that way of thinking. Do you understand? If there's someone who walked away, okay, because they didn't understand a refined palate. They didn't understand water from wine and they left you behind. Let them stay gone. Do you understand? Let them stay gone. Let them stay God. I want you to release the burden and get over whatever that was that stagnates you. I need you to get your emotions together. And because this is someone wanting. I feel like this is someone that planted a seed in you that possibly that you weren't good enough. And I really do feel like a lot of you guys, I don't know, maybe y'all worked on y'all body and y'all looking good now. Maybe you want to go back and chase this person and see. It says nostalgia is for two-time loser. I don't know if this is someone who just got plastic surgery. They just did some work on their body or something like that. But if it rejected you before, it reject you again. Yeah, it's like you got a new car. You got new transportation. Like, yeah, you got a brand new vehicle. Look, you see how the, um, the sphinx at the bottom, you see them big breasts. I feel like someone might have just got a breast job or something like that. And now you're feeling confident to, to go back. But this person didn't understand water from why. It doesn't matter if you go and get a breast job. It doesn't matter. Like, do you understand what I'm saying? 
I want you to release the burden of even wanting to go back to that. If you get, go get some work done to yourself so that you feel more confident moving forward, do that shit for yourself. Don't do that shit trying to appease, appease somebody, thinking that you're going to go back. It says nostalgia is for two-time losers. Don't make that mistake thinking that mansion on the hill is paradise. Yeah, there it is. What I feel like wherever you're going, especially if this is someone that ever did some work to their body or did something. Whoever this is that did something. And they either went and got their breasts done, they ever worked out, lost some weight. They were doing a lot of work. They did a lot of work. They did a lot of work. And they feel like it's going to amount to something this time. Pay attention to what you're going back to because I already feel like this. Whoever this is, is already bored with the idea of whatever it was that they offered. That's why I say nostalgia is for two-time losers. You're going to go back there and you're, it's going to be rejected again. Do you understand? That's why I'm saying like... If you want to do some work on your body, if you're going to change or modify yourself, do it for somebody. Don't do it for somebody. Do it for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do it for yourself because you got to be with, okay with yourself and with nobody else. Because nobody else should be able to tell you, oh, you will look better if you just did this or you just did that. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's going to be too much of a burden on you trying to live up to society and what people think is good. Because they might think, oh shit, I think you would look better with bigger, bigger titties today. And then you go get them. And you're like, man, I think I think I liked you better when they were smaller. You know what I'm saying? People are fickle pickles like that. So, I really do... I really do want you to make sure that you're doing whatever it is. You're doing it for you and you're not doing it to appease other people. But I definitely see new successful beginnings. I definitely see new seeds being planted. And I'm hoping it's in regards to your self-esteem and making sure that you realize full mistake their flesh for plastic. It's not enough to be beautiful. You need to know how to be beautiful. Stay open to new things. And you will never stagnate. Nostalgia. Going back to something that didn't appreciate your beauty to begin with. Is for two time losers. Don't mistake that mansion on the hill. Someone that already rejected you. For paradise. Darkness may be falling. But we're not there yet. You're not there yet. You understand what I'm saying? You, you were too beautiful. You, you, sh you don't have to. You too, you too good of a person to have to deal with assholes like that. Don't subject. Continue to work on yourself and go on your voyage for your own personal growth. And you, you, you're too good for that. You're too good. Give me guidance on the Ace of Pentacles and. The Eight of Pentacles. The King of Hearts. Yeah, just beat it. Just beat it. I really do feel like once you love yourself and you feel confident. I, I, I Now I'm feeling like this is someone that's a man that I feel like it has something to do with their finances. It had, oh, What is this? The Five of Hearts. Lady Gaga. poker face I feel like in regards to love with this situation I really do feel like this is a man that he knows deep in his heart that he really does love this Lady Gaga girl he really does love her and um, the five of hearts that does represent the divine feminine and they look at this person like she's just different she gets me. She's my twin. You know? But I do feel like this one is fancy. I do feel like he does have to put up with a lot 
to kind of appease her. The four hearts. The four hearts. I feel like they live with each other. And I feel like this one is constantly working hard to fulfill her heart or her needs. I feel like this woman is like a little bit spoiled. She likes to find her things in her life and it's, it's like a very emotionally demanding on this person. Very emotionally demanding on this person. And I feel like this man is always working, 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 trying to keep up with her almost. Give me guidance. Yeah, the eight of hearts. How will I know if she really loves me? I feel like this person is constantly working to, to like pour out his heart and all of his. I feel like he showers this person with gifts and things like that, trying to like prove his love. And, and, and I feel like it almost created some level of financial ruin for him. Um, I feel like this person might have had like a breakdown in regards to their protection, like their barrier, like maybe something happened at work or something like that where they're not, they weren't making the money or something that they were. And I feel like someone walked away. I feel like someone walked away at some point. And now this person feels more confident going forward. I think things is, is changing for them in regards to their luck and finances. Like, you know. But I still feel like for some reason they're, they're constantly being rejected. No matter how much they change. No matter how much. Yeah, the jack of hearts. All of these hearts. It's like whoever... This person is is like very fickle in regards to their emotions. It's just like one minute I love them, one minute I don't. This could represent some type of illness, um, some type of sickness, mental illness, like yeah, mental illness, depression, like. Because the four cups can, the four cups can represent someone that has like some type of substance abuse issues. But as you can see, this person is pouring the liquor and stuff out, is pouring the cup out because it's like they don't want it anymore. They don't want it anymore. And I feel like there's somebody that is just like, I don't want it anymore. Like it's driving me crazy. Like it's making me sick. Like this person doesn't really know what they want to do. You know, it's like one minute this person gives me love and I feel confident. And then one minute I don't feel confident. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like it's too much of a burden and I needed to just drop it and walk away. Or they were just going to drop it and walk away from me if I didn't give them what they wanted. You know what I'm saying? If, and I'm working hard enough to give them everything. But it's, you know what I'm saying? The Ace of Clubs, all right? The Ace of Clubs, Marva Gay. What's going on? The Four of Clubs. Rose-colored glasses. And it's like this person is like still trying to... It's still, I mean, the Ace of Clubs is basically the Ace of Pentacles. It's like someone trying to invest in inquiring someone trying to plan and siege trying to uh, work and, and and delegate and trying to figure out what's going on how do i move forward you know what i'm saying this is someone with rose colored glasses here i feel like even though like there's there is like a level of darkness there look the three of spades the, that's a third party and then the ace of diamonds 
Because like I told you, the jack of hearts is someone that's in and out emotionally. Like, one minute they love you, one minute they don't. And that's why I'm trying to tell you, it's like, don't, don't change yourself trying to appease the likes of men or the likes of women. Like, you got to plant these seeds and watch them grow and be attentive to it and build yourself up to the best ability for your own. Because as soon as you jump out in the streets trying to do things and carrying burdens trying to appease other people, you'll realize quickly that you all by yourself. As soon as you change yourself thinking that they like it this way, then they ain't like, no, I like it this way. Then they're like, I, I like it that way. And it's like, how the fuck do I know if they really love me? Like, every time I'm changing, it's like this motherfucker is wanting something different. And you just feel like you were out there on your own. And this person left. This person left because they didn't understand true quality. And even though you go back to the table and you keep trying to refix yourself and refurbish yourself, I feel like you still keep being left alone, but you still keep going back and you still keep feeling confident and you still keep getting let down. This person is so immature in regards, I mean artistic creative and all that stuff is beautiful but when it comes to matters of love like this person really doesn't know what they want and i really do feel like it does cause a level of depression and sickness and mental instability because that's unrequited love it's like a one-sided thing do you understand it could drive you to depression or to sickness or to eat too much or to drink too much or to smoke too much or to I just heard sex addiction or something like I feel like to where as though you were trying to contain like maybe it's sex addiction or something like that it's like maybe being let loose because now you're like indulging in now you're indulging in substance and stuff like that. I feel like you're being driving mentally insane. Like you feel like you're in like a mental prison or something like that. And I feel like you might end up just going to have sex with any fucking body just to have a fucking release or some shit like that. Especially if this is a man. Like if this is a man, like I feel like this constant rejection is just like, oh, fuck this shit. I'll just go fuck anybody. Like so you might go out to a bar or something and meet someone and just like have a one night stand or something like that you know what i'm saying like i said you might go find someone to party with just real quick for that night just try and find out what's going on or something like that but you just you know watch out you don't get that eric clapton you know what i'm saying watch out eric clapton ain't that eric clapton yes it's the eric clapton please make sure you use the protection because the three of spades does it just make sure you use protection okay because that is like a card that is a third party card and it's like someone sitting around and you can be exposed to some nasty shit with that card because it does represent disease and things of that nature so yeah like just make sure that you don't get that Eric Clapton yeah because you won't be sitting there looking like that you ain't gonna be looking too nice yeah yeah and this is like some type of like message of communication like this is this is someone with the Hank Williams. This is someone like getting some type of. This is someone getting some like type of new idea, realizing that they needed to start a new, that they need to go at things all over, that you can't do things to. You can't do things to appease everybody. You got to do you, you got to do what you got to do for yourself. Let me just verify that Ace of Diamonds real quick cuz I know all the other cards are just the Ace of Diamonds. I just want to verify that. Written news, a letter, an invitation, an important document, new beginning, a fresh start. Yeah, new phase of life, something brand new. Yeah. Life force, fire. Like, yeah, you got to <laughs> mm -mm. What's this? The clouds. Yeah. Like, it's been far too many rainy days in regards to the situation. It really does. You know, clouds is like delays, problems, trauma, deliver, de you know, dilemmas. Like, you have a blurred vision. you like, really not able. It's like someone really 
stagnating their self, allowing their self to keep trying to work towards nothing. And, and it's like, I feel like they can't, they can't see that. They can't see that. It's like you're wasting so much time. You're wasting so much time and you're causing blockages and dilemma. You need to step your standard of life up of what it is that you want. Like able to look at something with a different contrast with like balance. Do you understand what I'm saying? And really seeing that it's something that you need to come to terms with and something that you need to end because it is causing so much rainy days in your life. You keep trying to fit this part. You trying to fit this part. And I really do feel like you need to end this. You need to end this because... I feel like emotionally, it's it's like emotionally, it has to be fucking you up. Like you constantly getting rejected. Like it has to be. You constantly keep going back and trying to fix and fix and fix and trying to work and build and mold yourself. And thinking that it's going to be what it was or something. And it's just not. You know what I'm saying? Like this person, they don't see your value. You have to see your value and you have to move forward. You can't look to someone else. To show you your value. You know. Because how the fuck would you know if they really love you? Motherfuckers could tell you anything. You understand what I'm saying? You have to realize how precious your time is. And stop just giving it to anything. We are the world. Do you understand? Like. To me that is like the ten of pentacles in reverse. So this can be someone. Okay. Yeah. Most definitely. This said flowering. This could be someone that is like the mother of your children or something like that. And it's like maturity in the reverse. So I feel like this is someone that you has your world built around. You understand? You look at this person like they're the empress. Like they're beautiful. Like they are. You see how our hair is both black and white. On one side it's black. On the other side it's white. It's like this person. Um. Just universally, it's just like everything that you could have ever imagined. But at the same time, I don't feel like with this maturity being in the reverse, I don't feel like I feel like you're living in some type of state of illusion. Like I I don't think that you guys are together. And I know that you look at this person like that, like they're your divine feminine and all of this stuff like that. But if this person is continuously rejecting you, you have to be mature and just face the true color of and the nature of the situation. You understand what I'm saying? If someone doesn't want to be with you or yeah, receptivity. If they're if they're not being receptive to what it is, you need to be aware. Do you understand? You need to be aware and be receptive and stop. Look. Isolation. This is the third, this is the three of swords as well. Listen, you need to isolate yourself and i really do feel like you need to kind of grow up a little bit and recognize if people continue to reject you stop putting yourself out there one thing that you cannot do is get back time you understand and you need to be aware look at these two cards it's like this shit is ripping you apart and you have to keep going back to the table putting yourself together repeating yourself together but it's like I need you to do it for you. Because every time that this person said, well, I want this and I need this. You go to the table. You fix yourself all over. You come back and you deliver this to them. Uh, I want that. Okay. Like, no, don't let nobody fucking play with you like that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Give me guidance and love for my couples. For my Virgos. Okay, so this says, your friends miss your face. They need you and you need them. And then they say, do the damn dishes. Soak at them is not fucking washing them. Okay, oh my goodness. So it sounds like someone needs to clean their house. My couples, you need to clean up your house. And it looks like you need to just like invite your friends over and just spend some time with your friends and just like clean your shit up and get your shit together a little bit. Let's um go here with it. Let's find out what's oop. What is this? It's a page of swords in reverse. 
a page of swords in Oh my goodness. Ooh. Ooh. This is the page of swords in reverse. I feel like there's going to be some. I feel like you're going to have to call your friends over. But you're going to be doing some type of spying investigation with your friends. What's going on with this spy card? The Eight of Cups. They go to Eight of Cups in them again. Now return. But he got a knife to her throat. The High Priestess in reverse. Fucking swords and what the fuck? What the fuck? Hey Mo, that just went really left. So it says your friends miss your face. I feel like you need to you need to call your friends and tell your friends what's been going on. I feel like. Someone been watching you. Either someone's been watching you or you've been watching somebody. And there's going to be a return, but I feel like this time it ain't going to go like the way. I feel like it's going, it's going to, it's going to go violent. I'm sorry because this knight of swords in the reverse here is going to. It's like this person wants to know. Look at these cards. First off, look at this Eight of Cups card. And this was in the reverse. You see this man is like pulling a knife on somebody. And the Eight of Cups, I'm, I'm taking that as like someone's coming back and being rejected emotionally again. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like. You see how this woman is like looking like she's she's a little bit more like okay when I see this car I take this as someone might have was talking shit about how big that shit was and like the girl was like that shit ain't that big let me see let me see and then you you see that shit and you you realize that you you surprised it was a, a lot more bigger than even what the fuck he said it was or what you thought it was so I feel like this person keeps getting rejected do you understand what i'm saying and they're going to go back one more time but this time they're going to get rejected again and it's like you keep holding yourself back from me with this high priestess in perverse and you're not telling me why and i really feel like it's like this person feels like this woman is holding on to some type of secret like why it's like why the fuck do you keep rejecting me? And I feel like it might possibly get into a big fucking argument or some shit like that. I, uh, I don't know. I just, I just, I, 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 I don't know. I feel like maybe your ex or somebody is, is trying to re-enter your life or something. And you keep rejecting this person. And I don't think that this person likes your constant be fucking jackson. I feel like, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm just not getting a very good feeling about this. This could be the mother of your children. And this person isn't receptive to your advances and it's like, sudden wealth, marriage. I feel like you, you're taking a gamble. Occupation. Courtship. Main female. Hmm. 
so I feel like this person is taking a, a gamble. This person is taking a gamble. I feel like this person is not able to reciprocate the love because they may be already with somebody. And they may be just working you though. I feel like this person was taking a gamble gamble fucking with you because I feel like they they can get what they want out of you and out of the situation with you. Didn't I say this was someone that was like very I said Diddy this person wants a lot. Like this person had to give this person a lot. I feel like this person is already with it's like with someone. I feel like this person was just like working you i feel like with this occupation i feel like this gamble the sudden wealth this marriage and this occupation i feel like this person is already with someone and they were just they're just working you they're just working you and that's probably what this ace of diamonds like in the eric clapton in the third party like i really do i feel like this person was just courting you Trying to play like there was a possibility of being the main female. But this person is already in a commitment with someone. Stroking someone else. And, and they're just working you. Like they were just working you. And this person is just being a sneaky ass little fucking. Like this person is just being. <laughs> this person ain't shit. Like this person like just dead ass ain't shit. Like dead ass ain't motherfucking shit. And this person has been, you've been dating and you've been courting this person for no reason. And this person is already in like a relationship with someone. And that's why every time you give them an offer, you give them a gift and you're coming to the table like, okay, you want me to be like and act like this. You said you want me to change this. I change this and I do that. And this person don't know your value because this person ain't really interested in you. Like they're just working you. Give me guidance. This says, you still hold a piece of my heart. The Virgo, it says, I was reminded of you, of your scent recently. I'm, I'm trying to do the honorable thing. I feel like this person is dealing with the Virgo. They're going to let you know that you still hold a piece of my heart. I was reminded of you and like I'm trying to do the honorable thing. I feel like this might be like a breakup and they might try to tell you like. I like the way you treat me and I like the way you give me things and, 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 and stuff like that. And if this was a perfect world that me and you would be with each other. But I got to go back to like I'm in a relationship like I really do feel like this person is in a fucking relationship. I'm sorry. I need like a little bit more clarity. I'm sorry. Like I really do. Like this is like whoa. What is this? The Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, most definitely this person was breaking their wedding vows being with you. Like this person is already in a fucking commitment, you guys. Like, yeah, big time. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, so I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, give me guidance and love for my couples. This is soulmate. Okay. So I feel like you guys need to be mature and just understand the situation for what it is. You know what I'm saying? I feel like once you stop trying to change yourself and manipulate yourself and learn how to love yourself, I really do feel like you'll bring your soulmate in. It says your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So I really do feel like once you stop trying to once you learn how to love yourself and don't ever change yourself ever in your motherfucking life again trying to fit the mold or be something to appease someone so they can love you like you'll be good and your true soulmate is already with you in spirit it says give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way know that you deserve and will be and have all that your heart truly desires you hear that virgo so whoever this is that you've been trying to court or whatever i want you to stop 
Like this person was just trying to work you. Give me guidance for my single Virgo. Give me guidance for my Virgos. Woo! Ooh! Love, so many things I gotta tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know how. Sorry, let me stop. <laughs> Look, it says love. It says get some, give some. It would cheer your ass up. Come on, love. And then it says, you are giving away your power. You are badass. Act like it. I really do feel like love is about to come your way. I want you to stop giving your power away to the situation and love yourself. Love yourself, number one. And don't ever give the power of who you are to anyone to look to them to tell you what your value is. Do you understand once they show you who they are, believe them the first time. And you will be gifted with love. Do you understand? You will be gifted with true love. What is this? Bad health, coughing, community. Community. So what I want you to do, I really do feel like this situation has possibly driven you crazy. In regards to like self-esteem and stuff like that. I really do feel like this bad health has to do with your self-esteem level. I feel like you need to pick yourself up. You need to pick yourself up and you need to go out. You need to gift yourself with some away time. I think you need to go out with your friends. Like it says, call your friends. They miss your face. Do the dishes. Clean up and stuff like that. I really do feel like mentally that you guys need to pick yourself up and throw away and bury that old thinking and that old way that you were trying to kiss people's ass and trying to be and do what they want you to be. Fuck that shit, baby. Be you. You understand? Debbie Harry says, fools make a mistake their flesh for plastic. It's not enough to be beautiful. You need to know how to be beautiful. Stay open to new things and you will never stagnate. Give me guidance for my singles. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. This is the Page of Cups. Oh, this is some communication coming in in, in new love, honey. Oh, you and look at her in this page. You see how thick and voluptuous and beautiful she is? Excuse me? She looks like she having just enough fun for me. Shit. You can pour some wine down my motherfucking back. Oh, ooh. You see this King of Pentacles, bitch. Do you see this? <laughs> Girl, if you don't pick yourself up and take yourself on out. Pick yourself and take yourself on out, girl, and go out in the community. What is going on? Oh, okay. What was be going? On? Let me get a little bit more. Give me guidance about this King of Pentacles. This is someone that works hard, very successful, um, very. I feel like they're highly established in the community or something like this. Like this is somebody that does like some type of charity work or something like in your community or something. What is this? The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this thing is going to take off slow. Yeah, you got to do your self-work together. You got to get your mind together. You got to get your mind and you got to get your mental focus together before this thing. Yeah, this fool in reverse because I feel like you don't have no faith in this. It's something about the way that you feel about yourself, the way that you feel about yourself and the amount of time and the effort that you put into a situation that wasn't putting it to you. It fucked your self-esteem up. It fucked your self-esteem up. And this person is definitely coming to you and this person is going to want to love you long time. This is someone that is committed, committed, but you got to love yourself. And you got to stop giving your power away and stop trying to keep going back and 
emotionally pulling yourself together to try to work towards something that ain't working towards you. Someone that keeps rejecting you. Because when you meet someone that truly loves you and everything in your mindset, you're going to think that you're going to get rejected. And whereas though with something long and strong it could be something that's committed and beautiful for the both of you guys, it's going in as soon as it begins because you going into it with a lack mindset. With unhealthy thinking. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why you need to get your thoughts together. Swords is thoughts. You need to get your thoughts together. Do you understand what I'm saying? Or you're going to continue to. You're not going to know how to filter the trash out. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're going to end up with the same shit different toilet. And when you finally got someone that really wants to give to you. You don't even know how to appreciate it. And don't know how to obtain it and maintain it because you were too busy fucking around with fools that you were fascinated by people with nothing to give do you understand what i'm saying so it's like you gotta get your mental together you gotta get your mental together but oh honey that king of pentacles is coming it says it is important right now to take a step back and spend some alone time instead of placing your focus on another now it's time to give to yourself hmm Yep, singles. But you're going to meet this one out in the community. You need to get yourself together and go on out. Call your friends, okay? Call your friends because he's out there. And, baby, he don't find nothing wrong with the way that you look. You do, okay? Y'all, this has been your reading. Virgo, I love y'all. If this video resonated, hit that like button. I love y'all. Peace.